Hi. I'm Riley. Uh, if those of you who don't know me or don't know Circonis, uh, I'm the VP of Engineering. Circonis has been around for quite a long time doing time series data. It's almost our entire business uh, mon is monitoring analytics. We were founded in 2010. Uh, we have both a SaaS business and an on-prem business for uh, time series data monitoring and analytics. A lot of the companies that we do business for on-prem you have heard of, I can't talk about, um, but you can imagine really big tech companies that do really big cool tech things and have a lot of stuff to monitor. And we've been doing this uh, this way for many, many, many years. Uh, and uh, as you can imagine, there are certain requirements for running an on-prem uh, environments like that that make the time series database we use have a certain set of features that make it, I think, pretty awesome. So uh, early on, we decided a after a, a quick stint playing around with Postgres to write our own time series database. Um, and I think it has it is ended up paying off in the long term. Um, it required high availability, fault tolerance, scale, the ability to do multi-data center replication in case you lose a data center, multi-node replication in case you lose a node. It's a lot like Cassandra in that case, but uh, built for time series and analytics. Um, so Graphite, so, so why Graphite? Like what's going on? Why are you at this conference talking about this? Well, traditionally and up till now, we have had our own ingestion format. It comes through Reconnoiter, those of you who are familiar with it. Um, and we haven't ever really ingested directly in the style of InfluxDB. We haven't really grabbed raw data and stuck it directly in the database and rolled it up for you. We've relied on external components to do that up until now. But now, we have so many on-prem clients who also have this graphite footprint, and they're struggling. How many of you use graphite? How many of you use graphite over 50 million time series? Nobody, exactly. How many of you use graphite over 10 million time series? OK. One. Nobody runs two. Nobody really, really tries to run, AppNex uh, except for AppNexus, graphite at a massive, massive scale. We're talking hundreds of millions of time series. And when you get to that scale, graphite actually starts to fall down in terms of maintainability. It's really hard to use at that scale. It's also very expensive at that scale because of Whisper, because of Python. It's just a lot. So a lot of our on-prem clients have asked us, can you just ingest my graphite data so I can use sort of one stack for all my Circonus ingestion and all my graphite ingestion? And you guys just do it. So we said, OK. So today, I'm here to announce IronDB is available in beta. This means you can right now go get a license on Circonus.com for 25,000 metrics free. 25,000 is named metrics. You can just use this forever if you want. If you have less than 25,000 metrics, you're free to go grab this database and use it. You can deploy it on as many nodes and as many data centers as you want. It does uh, raw ingestion of high fidelity data at the millisecond level, and it will then roll this up at a configurable fashion. You, you can tell it, I want to keep HiFi data for three hours and then I want you to roll it up for me. Or you tell it, I want to keep HiFi data for weeks, and then you roll it up for me. And the database will do all the work for you, including replication and roll-ups. So what, is, what does all this mean? What is IronDB? Well, it's a Lumos and ZFS. If, you, if any of you have experienced bit rot in data that's been sitting in your time series database for a couple of years, and you go back and try to render that, and it just doesn't work, because if, if you're not aware, your files go bad on disk on the magnetic media, ZFS file systems sort of prevent this. It's replicated, I talk about this a bit. You can lose a node, you can lose a data center if you set it up suchly, and you'll still be able to render all of your data, which is really important when the time series system has to be the most available system in your infrastructure, because how else, otherwise you're blind. We do huge installations already. It's, it can theoretically scale to thousands of nodes. We haven't actually personally tested that, caveat, but theoretically could scale to thousands of nodes. Uh, it's Graphite and Grafana compatible now uh, through Graphite Web and Grafana going through Graphite Web. We are, do have a, Graf a Grafana data source plugin in the works to expose all of the analytics that exist on, on the Circonus platform. That includes all of our uh, native um, 
language, our Crackle language, and all of our native support for histograms, for example, will be exposed in Grafana when we finish the, the, Grafa, the Grafana data source plugin. Very performant. Don't take it from me. Test it yourself, but it's very performant. Uh, it has a built-in user interface for monitoring the database nodes themselves and many, many, many more features that have been developed over the last six years. So you can co-locate your graphite data and your Circonus collected data, and you can look at it all in Circonus, or you can look at it all in Graphite or Grafana, and you can have one source to ingest a whole bunch of data and look at it however you want. Basically, you can choose your own UI. So that's my spiel. Thank you very much. If you're interested, you can go to irondb.io, pull down the docs, uh, pull down the release once we put it up there, which I'm not sure if we've done yet, uh, and play around. So thank you very much.